There's no way that was... Yeah, baby. No way that was iced that fast. What? <laughs> that was straight up 10 minutes. And we've got ice. This thing's gonna be full tonight. I've never thought an ice machine would be so exciting. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Please Me Fall on YouTube channel. Month of Freedom. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a big moment. We are picking up the Spicy Spence from the airport. He is moving to Florida. Oh. <laughs> The Spicy Spence, ladies and gentlemen, a official, an official Florida man. Is that a Florida man? Florida, I dude. see. That's a Florida boy right there. Florida <laughs> man. Nice rock, dude. Hey, dude, welcome. Thanks, man. Big day. All right, we need a live action interview. How do you feel? <laughs> I feel Florida right now. Dude, you're here? <laughs> Hop in. Let's do this. You're, you're here for life, dude. You can't leave the state now. Good morning, folks. Long story short. Today is an exciting day because the water systems go online at the Freedom Factory. But right now, you see I have a Cooper's aluminum trailer with me. I have to take the mowers in for service and to get the stripe kits put on them, we gotta get the mower service. So let's get them on, let's get them out. Black butter. So this is a 950M, the other one is actually a 970R. So the Freedom Factory has a little bit better of a mower. I don't know if you guys care, but it's like the emergency brake is here. It's got a hydraulic lift deck on it. And then this is 27 horsepower. The one at the Freedom Factory is 35 horsepower, but it's gotta have more freedom because it's, you know, it's the Freedom Factory. Woohoo! That's a beautiful American side. Mm. Gosh dang. Even a little bit of LS power in this video. Incredible, folks. Well, Freedom Factory just looking good. There's the beast. Yes, sir. 35 horsepower unit here. This thing's nasty. Funny thing, though, I actually bought that mower from Everglades like a year before we met up with these dudes. So, weird how the world works. See how the brake is down there, though? And then you have this button to lift the deck. So, so if you're gonna change your uh, deck height, cut the grass shorter or something, it's just a little easier on this unit. There you have it, folks. All right, and then before I leave, it's always worth getting a glimpse of the infield. Oh yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Still got some water that's gotta drain out, but uh looks pretty damn good, all the grass drain. Freaking freaking good folks. Drop the kids off at school here at Everglades. Dude, they do some serious gnarly stuff here. Pretty sure I have the smallest mower available. Yeah dude, they've got so much sick equipment here. Oh boys Everglades. All right guys, so next stop, we're going to the Power Sports store because Spencer, who has moved to Florida, needs to go full Florida man and have his own pit bike. And he did the Freedom 500, you know, at no charge. You know, he just showed up and announced the whole thing and he worked all week like crazy with the concrete pour and all that stuff laying sod, watering the grass. He was here for a full two weeks on the Freedom 500, went down, and now he's actually moving here. So, and on top of that, today is his birthday. So, I'm stopping at the Power Sports store, and we're buying him a pit bike so that he can have a pit bike with the rest of us, because we all have a pit bike, we race him all the time. So, we're gonna get him one right now and then uh, surprise him with it here in a little bit. What an absolute unit, dude. Absolute shredder. He's gonna be excited. We got we to cover his eyes. Yeah, put, put a helmet on him backwards. Okay. All right. You have to put this on backwards. He's many talents. Wow. How impressive. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need What's to put going this on? helmet on backwards. Backwards? Yeah, you have it on backwards. 
Awkward. That's perfect. Okay. Makes racing hard. All right, guide him out here. Okay. All right. Now that you're a uh, officially a Florida man, moved to Florida. I did. We had to uh, get you a little something so <laughs> that you know it's your birthday too. We had to get you set up as a true Florida man. So go ahead and, and take her off. All right. Oh yes! <laughs> oh, dude, a bit ripper. Dude, hop on her. Dude. She's ready. 2020. Girl, this is a unit. <laughs> Woo! Green, baby, just like the money. I'm gonna win at all my races. <laughs> dude. This is titties. Thank you so much. Bro. Oh, dude, I got you, dude. I think you gotta jump it off the trailer. I'm 100. Oh, it's it's you. dead. They didn't have time to triple charge the battery. Alright guys, a little moto trick here. <laughs> oh! <laughs> She's got a choke. She does She does have a choke. She's got a choke. It's just down. You can put a clutch on it like ours. Alright, we ain't gooch. <laughs> Fresh unit, dude. <laughs> yeah, dude. I mean, hit a stun. You got. Welcome to the live. Thanks, dude. This, <laughs> <is sick. laughs> this guy's crazy. Why is the uh, water system is actually? <laughs> we're, we're waiting for Dan to get here to uh, to turn the water system on for the first time, but there is still pressure in the system. So I cracked this thing open, and she she ripped. Right, right on my shorts. This thing got water in it, then? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Oh wow! That was cool. All right, so yeah, guys, the water tank is installed and full. Hasn't cracked the pad yet. We got you know twenty some thousand pounds worth of water in there because it's a twenty five hundred gallon tank. It's pretty much full. And then uh, Danny ready to fire this stuff up? Yeah, dude, we called fastest one in the south so i see this is on like there's pressure in the system so what do we gotta just crack these on and crack, uh, yeah. what's that unit is this the chlorine deal so what now we turn these units on you can basically turn yeah so the bathroom group is the one here oh yeah that's some pressure right there, brother. What, do you just kind of bleed it out so you don't yeah, blast? Yeah, just let it go. Yeah, you just don't blast it on real fast. Ah. You go in the bathroom. That's, that's interesting. Five horsepower worth of fury right there. Number one kicking in. Ah, oh, dang. And you could have got by with a little two horsepower bump here. No, brother, we need all the power. Not with just one five. <laughs> we want two five horses. So primary backup, and then you can actually just run pressure through the system off of the submersible well. That's like your backup for your backup. So what's happening, guys, is that well, which this thing goes, what, 300 feet or 250 feet? 225 feet down in the ground, we have our submersible well pump. And that pumps all the way up here, goes through this, down into the ground. That fills this tank. And then once this tank is full, water is fed out of this to these pumps. And then these pumps are high pressure. And these pump everything to the bathrooms, the office, the irrigation system for the infield. And uh, reason they do that is, you know, say all the bathrooms get flushed at one time, there's no way that one pump could feed that amount of volume of water, but you have all your volume of water just sitting here in the tank now. So it's, uh, it's a pretty cool system. And so are the bathrooms good then? Can we go in there? Check it out. 
check the office next. I trust the office bathroom is. Oh, true. Yeah. Watch out for the bats. Oh yeah. Yeah, we do have a friendly neighborhood bats in here. Got a couple oh yeah, she's running a little bit. Can I just start flushing them? Yeah. Get some water moving. Yeah. Some of them are off too. Yeah, I think this one's already off. How's that work? You just pop this off and yeah, I'm gonna show Alex how to rebuild them. This is the on-off here. Yeah, that screwdriver slot when they're running. If they're ever running, you just so some of these are already off. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Oh yeah, okay. What does that mean? We got a clogged exit and then? Well, it's just, it can't handle it. Just like keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay. I've heard nightmare stories about the septic stuff here. When it had a full house, it had problems. Bathroom that. issues, yeah, we want to solve that yeah, for sure. That That's like a nightmare of mine. Yeah. Good looking mirrors right there, dude. Them yeah. things are clean. Yeah. I think we actually got a leak right here. Yeah, we got a leaker. We got a leaker right here, brother. Yeah. Get all fired up and we'll put all new kits and everything. Yeah. See your Yeah, I'd love a rundown on how to do the kit so we can just knock them out when we need to. Yeah. Think we got water in this bar over here? There's got to be a feed somewhere, right? If there's a... Yeah, there's a sink right here. That's the next thing we need to do is go through all those isolation valves up there and see what yeah. needs what. Nothing. Oh. Getting some air in it, maybe. Now, the only valve we have turned on is the one main valve at the pump. One of those oh, ones might you know what, too, is there's that filtration system up there, and if that filter is tore up, then we're not going to get much pressure back here. Back here in Danby's bar. Yeah. We're going to get this thing renovated. We're going to get this thing up to speed. <laughs> Damn bees bar and kitchen. Check out the office, see how that's doing. Then we'll go in the kitchen. All right, I'll check this out. I think this one's probably good. Uh oh. Oh, brother. My spoke too soon. <laughs> Shower's on, baby. Yeah, I think they left the shower on, dude. Oh, sheesh. Actually, we should probably let it run for a little bit. Yeah. Get the stinky water out of there. Now we're looking in here. A little moldy. Not shutting off. No. <laughs> That's trouble. That will love it. Got oh, there you go. Give it a black eye. Close enough. Look at that, dude. We're upgrading the office, Dan B. That's not terrible. Yeah, man. Double up, baby. Yes, sir. Did you see the filter on the back side of the kitchen? So that's good. That's, that comes off of one of those main valves. Yeah. Um, no water. Turn that on. I'll work through the door. Turn that on and let me know when it turns on. Yes, sir. Can't beat having Dan B out here, dude. Great guy. That's this guy. Plumber Dan B. Oh, there you go. That was it. Oh, brother. Ice we might have a leak in the ice machine. Does that thing work? Wow. You can do some dishes? Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> this thing's not working. That might have a bigger valve on the back side or something. You see anything back there, Alex? <laughs> That's all she's got. We need a little rebuild on that. <laughs> you want to let this stuff run for a little bit? It won't hurt. And then whichever one turns this hose on will be the one for the infield. So here, I'll crack this open. Yo. Yes, sir. That's off the kitchen, yeah. Because I remember we had to bypass those filters to make this flow a little better. We got to get some fresh filters put in. So if you guys remember, when we put the uh, burnout pad in, we added in a bib down there, right over there, and then one right there, and one over there. So probably need to bleed the air out of these. Oh, they're on, actually. 
Oh yeah, all these are open. That's why the water pressure sucks. There we go. Look at those fresh marks. Hell yeah. Dude, that's just from three cars. I'm one day tearing it up. I love it, man. <laughs> There's that water pressure. See, as we turn, if you run them all at the same time, you're just never going to get good water pressure. You got to kind of run them individually. We've got some timers for that. It's pretty satisfying bleeding the air out of these, though. Ready? Oy. That's what I'm talking about, brother. All right. So all we got to hope now is that we don't see any water bubbling out from the ground from a broken pipe from putting in the burnout pad, but I think we're in good shape, to be honest. If there's that much water pressure over here, I don't think there's any major breaks anywhere around here. It's definitely one of my uh, nightmares, but hey, everything's all drained up. Everything's dried up now. We are looking good. Lake Freedom Factory has dried up, folks, sadly. What do you know? Man, I turned those infield water off and now we got some pressure in here. Every single bib in the infield was open, so that's why it was, oh, really? yeah. It's perfect now. Might actually have a little more sauce. Oh yeah. There you go. Yeah. Oh, we got a leaker. Yeah. Got a little trouble. Uh-oh. <laughs> no, you're good. Just leave it. Oh, that's great. Oh, you're flushing it up. All right. Coming out of the drain. Yeah, this, uh, this actually looks pretty recent. Like, they must have just bought it. That one might rip. I don't know. Someone oh, steals. A little bit of love. A little bit of love. She might, but this one's, like, on and making the right sound, so... We're just getting it cleaned out. There's a little bit of dirt in the bottom. There ain't no rust or anything like that. So, drop some bleach in there. It's an 05. Cleaning the whistle almost. What are we going to do about these walk in freezers, brother? Got to get them fired up. Is this power or is this on? Should we just try it? Yeah, try it. You got all the power. The breaker's probably off. Yeah, that thing would be spinning up there. I mean, dude, this, this unit's not in bad shape at all. We could make her work, right? I mean, yeah. As long as everything functions right and we get it cleaned up. It's cold. It looks like it's been worked on. Yeah. Even the panels also. As long as she stays cold. You need to get us a little refrigeration guy, friend. Yeah, that would be. That would be ideal. What is this unit? There's some more pumps back here. These are the condensers for those, both those units. Probably the big one for the bigger one, the little yeah. one for the other one. Okay. Freezer, right, cooler. Oh, right, so right. one's a freezer, one's a cooler. Oh, look. Looks like a freezer yeah. box. You want know, to turn it on? Yeah, this one? Super. Yeah. Yeah, I think I heard. Oh, action, boy. Live action. No way. Oh, oh she, she popped. Like she, popped. <laughs> she didn't like it. <laughs> all right, all right. We'll have the electrician check that out. There's no way that was, yeah, baby. No way that was ice that fast. What? <laughs> oh, that was like, like 10 dead. minutes. Oh, <laughs> there was dude. no way. Dude, the ice was on point. That was straight up 10 minutes. And we've got ice. This thing's going to be cold tonight. I didn't know they could do it that fast. Yeah, they're, yeah. that's a nice one. Holy you know crap, what? dude, no yeah. way. 2005? I've never thought an ice machine could be so exciting. <laughs> dude, yeah. the old, the old Mana, what is Manitowoc, that? Manitowoc, man. Manitowoc, golly, what a unit, dude. Uh, that's insane that we, I just bought eight bags of ice. It was that. like 20 bucks, and exactly. you know, I could have just came right here. Yeah. Well, Gosh dang. So they're right here to your $12,000 ice machine. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so guys, in the event that we have both pump one and two fail, what you do is the submersible feeds, while well, it comes up through the ground here, goes that way to your tank. But in the event those pumps die, we can't use the tank. So you shut this valve off. Okay. Open this valve on. It runs. Way the path all the yeah, it just can't. Just it, it probably won't make the same pressure as those five horse deals, though, will it? No, it'll run it though. It's pretty fast. How long it filled this tank in uh, 30, 30, 30 minutes or an hour? It filled it up. Yeah, that's, that's pretty 60 good. 60 gallon a minute. Okay, all right, sweet. So, and then there's a float switch up at the top of the tank. So, once that fills, it shuts the submersible off. But uh, we
we'd have to hot wire the float switch so that it just runs all the time if we were to switch over to the submersible feed. Which is no big deal. Hopefully it never jumps to that, but we have a backup plan in the event it does. All right, boys, we got a, a lot of stuff online. We got to uh, certainly figure out a few things with the bathrooms. We're going to have to figure out the valves in there because a lot of the valves are just pretty much cooked on the urinals and some of the toilets. So what do we got to replace? Is the cartridge on those? It's a whole diaphragm set. Yeah, that's good. So we're going to have to put some diaphragms in those, but uh, we'll obviously have a video coming on that eventually. We at least got the water system online today, which is a huge step. And the well on the other side works. So, I mean, we got water at the Freedom Factory. We are good to go. That's it. That's just a quick little video today. Thanks for watching. Do it for Dale. We'll freaking see you later.